Are you an indigenous storyteller who likes to delve into the dark? Consider submitting a story to the open call for Never Whistle at Night, an anthology of indigenous dark fiction from Penguin Random House, edited by Shane Hawk and Ted Van Alst. If they accept your story, you'll be published alongside writers such as Owl Going Back, Rebecca Rowanhorse, Shiri Dimeline, Tom Orange, and others. Find all submission details at shanehawk.com forward slash submit or neverwhistleatnight.com. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. Today, we are talking about The Razor Blades in My Head by Donnie Goodman. Now, Donnie is a fellow YouTuber, or was at one point in time, I forgot to look up beforehand. I know he has switched over to uh, writing, and this is his debut collection. Um, in fact, if you read the afterword uh, and all the, the bonus content at the end, he explains how each story came about. He also explains that he is working on a, a longer piece, anywhere from 15 to 30,000 words. I'm looking forward to watching this this author grow um, and learn and hone their craft. In fact, the one criticism I have, I'm going to throw all the way up front, and this is why I gave the book four stars, because I know he's going to get better. Um, the writing in the stories were pretty inconsistent. Each one had, you can tell he's still trying to find his voice, and that's not a bad thing. Please don't think that, I, that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that you can tell that this is a new author. Some stories feel rushed. Some stories feel, feel almost incomplete. Um, some stories, especially at the end, feel rushed, um, going back to that point, um, because I was enjoying so much of it, I wanted it to con continue on, and then it's just like, nope, boom, done. Um, some highlights in this one, uh, I don't have the book with me, so I may not remember the titles, but something about the squared circle is a story about uh, wrestling, um, a wrestler, and an upcoming wrestling match. Uh, there's a bit of found footage stuff to it. Uh, it's a very, very cool story, and it's probably my favorite of the collection. The writing here is the best out of all of the stories. Um, there's another one uh, that's called uh, some, something about why isn't always the question, something like that. Um, I enjoyed that one for the weirdness of it. I had no idea what was going on, but I did enjoy the writing. Uh, other ones is A Bloody Heist. I remember the title of that one. Um, I blew through this collection so fast. It's not that the titles weren't memorable. It's just I blew, th I, I read it in a single sitting. It's only like 100 pages, um, and that's 100 Kindle pages. So I went through it super fast. Um, this one, a, a Bloody Heist, is a very fun uh, story that I had. I kind of had the same idea um, a long time ago, and I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, Please don't think I'm saying he ripped off ideas. I'm just saying I liked the idea so much I had thought about it at one point in time. Uh, he didn't use the twist that I was going to use, um, which is it, it's it's these uh, robbers who dress like vampires. They're named Mr. Barlow. We're going to talk about the names in some of these things, too, uh, some of these stories. Uh, Mr. Barlow, Nosferatu, Lestat, uh, Dracula, uh, El Santo. There's... there's numerous ones and then there's a little bit of a twist at the end that you, you kind of see coming but it's still a super fun story in in my idea i was going to use vampires to uh to rob banks uh, kind of like a point break meets uh lost boys kind of thing because they wouldn't be caught on camera um so you know it, but anyways uh, it's just, just really good ideas the story about the snowman was fantastic i think it's called the magic in the hat the Snowmen, I should say. Uh, there's more than one. Very, very cool story. Uh, let's see here. Gobble Gobble was was fun. Um, but the main thing I want to say about this collection was it's it has a little bit of everything. It's very diverse, very eclectic. Um, but it would be perfect. Each and every one of these stories would be perfect as an episode of Tales from the Crypt especially Tales from the Crypt. I was thinking a bit of Creep Show too, but I, I'm... I feel that it would be better as a Tales from the Crypt thing. Um, if they ever rebooted it, or hell, you know, even an anthology, a short film uh, movie, something like that, it'd be absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> I love uh, Donnie Goodman's imagination. Uh, I, I found some of these stories, especially the opening story, the razor blades in my head. It's just stuff that I hadn't seen before. 
Um, oddly enough, and this is no slight to to the story really, but one of the weakest stories I felt as far as I, I, I don't know, it just didn't do anything for me, was the old Bay King, and it's that's the one, I believe, that is available by itself um, on, on Amazon. I think the one about the wrestler, the, the squared ring needs to be, or the squared circle, uh, needs to be needs to be the one that's out there for people to buy because I think it's a, it's a better uh, representation of Donnie's talents. Uh, that's uh, I w I, there's another thing that I that I will say there weren't errors in the book that I found, but there were a lot of places where it seemed like they were double spaced after the period and sometimes there was no space in between a quotation mark and the next word. So it's just I don't know it's probably editing errors or whatever. But otherwise the book is really clean. Um, I was impressed with that, and the cover is absolutely gorgeous. I believe Justin T. Coons, uh, who's a fantastic uh, artist, he does all of the splatterpunk westerns from uh, Death's Head Press, I think is the name of the company, is a fantastic artist, uh, and this cover especially, man, it, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm in awe, and I'm really envious of it also. So fantastic work there. This is a great production for a first outing, um, and I am impressed, and I respect Donnie Goodman's attention to detail. Uh, but that's all I have to say about the book. Have you read The Razor Blades in My Head by Donnie Goodman? Uh, if you have, let me know if you loved it, if you hated it, if you felt meh about it, uh, if you felt any of those things Tell me in detail what you loved or didn't love about it so that we can have a discussion down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 30 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.